Hey guys, I'm Greg. This is Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge. Hello everybody. Boy, this should be a treat. This is uh, this is one I got from uh, from Mark over to BelgiumBeerStation.com. Uh, this is Leafman's Golden Band. Golden Band. It says Provision Ale here. So what in the world? Eight percent alcohol by volume on this one. And they got this in the little special green bottle with the cork on it. It's, looks like it's a little bit more than uh, twelve ounces. Let me see what it says here. Thirty-seven point five. 12.7 fluid ounces, so we're not quite a 13 fluid ounces, just a little less than 13 fluid ounces on this one. Uh, I have not had this beer before. It comes wrapped in this blue wrap with the, that on there. This is wrapped all around the bottle and stuff. So uh, I don't know what this costs to add to the packaging of the bottle, but as far as I'm concerned, they can leave this off and make the beer a little cheaper. Up. Just my opinion, guys. So don't take me to the damn guillotine for that. Uh, I just like to see the beers packaged the least expensive as possible, as most practical to reduce the cost for the consumer. That's my bottom line there. The uh, the beer is out of Oudenard, Belgium. It is a Flanders Oud Brun at eight percent. Year-round serving from them guys on this one. So if you can get their beers or you're over in Belgium I don't know what the distribution is on this particular beer. Like I said this one comes from Mark over to BelgiumBeerStation.com Check his website out guys. He has all those Belgian beers and ships them worldwide So if you want to try some of these fantastic Belgian beers Look him up. Give him a shout. He'll ship it to you The uh, food pairing for this the cheese is an earthy Camembert Fontina and it says general, which means chocolate type of uh, beer here. And I'm not so much I'm sure on that. Like I said, I've not had this beer before. The meat is grilled meat for this, it says. And the glassware is the flutes, nectar, or the tulip. I have the dual glass, guys. That's what I like to use to enhance the aromas. That's why I use this glass. And it says can be selling for extended periods. It's an 8% beer, guys. So. Very nice looking beer. I'm not a big fan of the clear or the green bottles, uh, but we'll get to cage. And I'm really not a big fan of the cage on these, but some of them I feel like they need to do that to keep them from uh, blowing the cap off or doing anything crazy like that. Well, it says right on here, Leafman's 2010 on the uh, cork here. And it doesn't have any kind of date or anything on here, so I don't know exactly how old the beer is. Europe, it's got a barcode. It's got two barcodes. One for USA and one for Europe. Imported by Duval Morgak. Uh, it's got the Duval glass. How appropriate. Oh yeah, here we go. Here it comes. Ah, oh, poop, poop. There's a the cork. Green bottle with a little smoke coming out of it. Get it in the glass, guys. See what we got here. This come across the pond, Mark. I appreciate you uh, shipping these beers over to me. <clears throat> they have been extremely delightful so far. I got some Guze beers coming. I'm not a big sour tart beer fan, and I'm concerned this is going to be a little bit more in that range. But I'm gonna give it my best, guys. I'm not a tower, sour tart beer kind of guy, but we'll see what it brings. A lot of carbonation on this one. A lot of bubbles streaming up from, from the glass there. I might not have washed this glass quite good enough. I've got a lot of bubbles sticking to the inside of the glass. I don't like when that happens because I can't see through the glass. It, it pours a very brown, murky... I cannot see anything through it, so it is a dark brown. Very dark brown ale. Cannot see through it. Very dark. The head that did pour is basically dissipated. I did tell you this was an 8% beer, year-round serving. It says can be sold for extended periods. Wow. Now I do smell some cherries, and it does smell kind of on the tart side. I 
I mean, that is dark fruit I'm getting there, and it's like cherries are sticking out. Very tart smelling, almost like a wine smell. It almost has like that wine smell. Maybe just a little bit of raisins or plums or, or some other kind of dark fruit in there. Smells very sweet, very rich, and from the aroma, very tart. So, let's see what it brings. Mark, cheers, brother. I appreciate it. Cheers, everybody. This is exactly what I thought it would taste like. Tart, dark cherries, raisins maybe. The cherries stick out more than anything else. Let me use some grapes. This is so close to a wine taste to me. It's not even funny. This tastes like a carbonated wine to me. I get the, the, the sour tart cherries when I drink these kind of beers. And, and it says it's a Flanders Alde Bruin. And I don't know how far different that is from, than from a, a Gouze or, uh, or that type of beer. But it is a very tart. If you like tart candy, sweet tarts, or, or those tart kind of uh, fruit and candy, you'll probably like this. Something very different for me because I'm not into the sours or the, the real tart. But this does have a, it has a nice sweet, uh, I don't want to say molasses or brown sugar taste. But it is tart. Make no mistake about it. Very pleasant though. I'm sure it fits, it's probably one of the top of the line in that style. Yeah, it's very, very tasty, very sweet, but very tart. Second round, let me just fry out the fridge. We're going to let it warm up and let, uh, let the wife sip on this a little bit too and see what she thinks of it. And I'll be right back. We'll do the final chug and grade on this one and see where it is. But not my style, but very nice beer. Be right back. All right, guys, thank you for sticking around. Got just a little left. I mean, this is a very delicious beer, especially if you like the sour beers and the tart beers. This is this fits right into that and and it's a, and it's a nice change up for me it's not a style that I normally drink but it's a nice change up and this is very well made on top of that so and I have just a little bit more than a final chug so let me sip one more time it it almost has a a wine quality to it I'm getting grapes and dark fruit and tart cherries and stuff with this beer so if you're a if you're a wine connoisseur or you like the taste of wine also, uh, along with beer, a lot of the beer guys and girls don't like the taste of wine, but most of the women do like the wine taste. And this uh, this fits right up there into the wine category as far as I'm concerned. Very, uh, very tart, cherry, dark fruit type of uh, beer. So, I'll chug, guys. Makes my mouth pucker. Very tart, dark cherries, maybe some raisins. Uh, I'm getting the darker fruit in this. Very, I don't say very sour, but it's a sour tart beer. Uh, pretty much, uh, and it says it's an Flanders Ode Bruin, and I don't know how close that is to a Lambic, but we're going to find out because I have some Lambic beer, beers coming up. I also have a Lambic that uh, Marcus sent me. Uh, from Belgian Beer Station, along with this, you know, came in this package with this beer. So, uh, we're going to be doing some of those, and uh, I'm going to be giving those out of the fridge. And I don't know, this is an 8% beer, so it's going to keep for a little while. And I don't know what the ones I have downstairs are, if they're bigger beers or smaller beers. So, some of them may have gone bad if they're not the bigger beers, and I won't be reviewing them if they are. So, uh, this is a great beer, Mark. Uh, if, you, if, you like, if you like this type of beer, give Mark a shout at the Belgian Beer Station. Com. If you cannot get this beer in your area, or you're not uh, in that uh, distribution ring for this for this type of beer, I'm gonna give this beer. Uh, I'm gonna give this beer a seven. It's a B plus. It's not my style. It may be a big, a better beer than that because Rate Beer has 98 overall, which tells me that's an A beer, and I'm not giving it the A category. And guys, 
it may be an A beer, and I'm giving it, uh, I'm giving it to B plus here. So, uh, uh, if you like that style, don't go by my word. Uh, go by all means, go pick up the beer. 86 in the style for eight beer, and uh, beer up comes up with a 93. So, uh, it, it's probably an A beer, guy. So, uh, if you'd like, and, and like I said, I like wine and I like beer, but this is a, to me is like a combination of both. Which it, uh, a lot of people say, well, that's the best of both worlds, but. It's a little too tart for me. Uh, I just didn't, I don't care for the, the real tart beers. I don't like tart candy or, or tart food or anything like that. I like a, I like a nice sweet or a hoppy. I'm into more into the bitters than I am the tart. So, guys, give me some comments back on this if you've had it. It was an enjoyable beer. If you like this type, give Mark a shout. Hey, come back tomorrow. We're going to look in the fridge. Hope I see everybody then.